the first thing that you want to do is uh, import your object or uh, create a primitive. Um, in this case, I'm using a cylinder and I've gone ahead and run Z-Remesher on it and then I've uh, increased the division um, to, in this case, 789,000 active points. Um, you just want to make sure that there's enough resolution for the texture to show up on the surface. Then I go up and import the uh, texture image. In this case, it's going to be the chainmail image that I created in Photoshop. Uh, <clears throat> so then once you have that imported into the system, uh, you'll want to go over to the UV map area in the menu. And uh, in this case, we're going to pick 2048, which is the resolution of the Photoshop image. And then we're going to set it to map it cylindrical on this. Um, you want to orient your object along the Z axis for it to wrap correctly. Then we'll go down to texture map and choose our chainmail image there. And you'll see that it wraps it around the, uh, the surface. So if we go back up to UV map and go down to where the H and V repeat are, you can change the settings there. In this case, I've entered six and then I've also entered 1.5 in order to tile the image across the cylinder, the size that I'm looking for for this particular model. Okay, so then after we get that placed where we want it on the, the object, uh, then we're going to go up to poly paint and then select poly paint from texture. Okay, and then you want to click that and what it'll do is it'll activate, uh, well, it'll, it'll map it onto the, the object, uh, basically by painting it on there. Um, then what you want to do is create a mask out of that. So we'll go to mask and then we'll select mask by color and then click mask by intensity. And that will create a mask in all of the dark places where the texture map is on there. So then I'll go up here and I'm going to turn the brush off in the subtool palette. And you can see that it's it's hidden the the alpha texture that we've mapped on there, the, the poly paint. And now it's just showing the masking area. So it's masked all of the dark areas where um, the image was. Okay, so now I'm going to go down here to the deformation palette and then select inflate. And this will be, you know, based on whatever kind of texture you're wanting to create. So in this instance, I've run it about 38 to 40 for the links in the chain mail to show up uh, with enough definition that um, they'll, they'll be large enough on the, on the model. Uh, so then I'll go back up to polish crisp edges or just the regular polish and uh, run those sliders until it kind of smooths out uh, some of the rough edges and so forth. So this will will uh, kind of kind of dial the shapes into place. Uh, and then once you have that, um, that's basically it. Uh, you can experiment with different alpha textures, different tiles and so forth, depending on, you know, uh, how you want to arrange your, your maps on there. But for chainmail texture, uh, that simulates what you would do with a practical sculpting tool.